Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Pew Pew with Nikki Batgirl D'Angelo. Here today, I am not going to be talking about Elite Danger so much as I'm going to be talking about the X-55. In the last video, I complained about some issues that I've been having. And one of the issues is that all of a sudden, out of nowhere, certain functions of the key map just get selected without my knowing. And here's a perfect example from the last episode. Silent running has been activated for no reason whatsoever. I tried to capture the same type of things happening inside of Arena Commander for Star Citizen and immediately things like ejecting and moving my view started to happen. And I believe moving your view isn't even mapped in the map that they give us. So what's actually going on here I have not been able to figure out. I've done my best and I've recreated it many times and then tonight I go to record and as you're about to see it didn't happen. Instead I had issues where I guess the system software was updated for the X55 and um, the issues I was having was more or less everything that I had on there was reset. But everything seemed to be a lot more... Um, a lot more jittery. So what I thought I'd do is instead of trashing the X-55, talk a little bit about throttle control and how you actually control a spacecraft in combat in space. So the first thing to understand that in a frictionless environment where there is no lift and no real force to react against your momentum, remember we're using Newtonian, for, um, Newtonian physics here, and for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction, and an object in motion remains in motion unless acted upon an opposing force, correct? All right, so if we are going straight forward, we're going to continue to go straight forward until something changes the vector that we're flying on, the momentum and the vector that we're flying on. In this case, it's the many maneuvering thrusters that are around the spaceship that I'm flying, the 300i. I believe it has somewhere from 8 to 12 TR1s. So, how do these little tiny maneuvering jets actually work against the thrust that's created by the huge main thruster in the back. Remember, in a spaceship in the Star Citizen universe, you have an engine which is called a power plant and a thruster which delivers the force by which you can move through space that ejects out the outside. So Chris Roberts went into a nice little um, explanation of moving through space in one of the last 10 for the chairman. Essentially, the way he explained it is that when you're moving between planets, you're going to be traveling at 0 0.4, 0 0.2 C, which is 20 to 40 percent of the speed of light. The minute that you enter combat, the ICS um, is going to the intelligent control system is going to slow you down into a velocity range that makes it easy for you to actually maneuver. That's a little bit difficult for us to understand because in a lot of the flight sims we play, like War Thunder, we're flying World War II to Korean War era aircraft. So when you see or think about space flight and combat and real flight and combat, we're really thinking about the way that fighters in a piston engine to early jet engine aircraft actually work. Now when you move forward to the jet age where you have F-4s in Vietnam against MiG-21s, you're talking about closing speeds sometimes in excess of 2,000 miles an hour. I don't know how many kilometers an hour that is for those people that are not in the United States, but my guess it has to be somewhere around 3,500. That is a boatload of speed. 
Now think of it this way, if you're in a car going around a really tight curve that's not inclined at 70 miles an hour, you're going to fly off the end of that curve and pretty much crash. If you angle the curve a little bit, because you have friction, because you're going up, you're going to be able to handle it much better. In the atmospheric environment, the friction and lift of the atmosphere opposes the momentum that you have going forward. So when you pull back on a stick and your elevator moves, your controls bite into the atmosphere and thus help you to turn. So what happens in space combat is completely different. Everything that moves the spaceship takes a thruster on the spaceship. So if I want to slow down, I'm going to pull back on the throttle and the thrusters are going to fire forward and those are the maneuvering jets to slow me down. My thruster doesn't suddenly spin my ship around and slow me down, though that would be much more efficient in the long run. So when I'm going through a turn here, I need to rely wholly on those 8 to 12 TR1 maneuvering jets to move me around. Alright, so what am I getting at? So if I go full speed into a turn and rely on my maneuvering jets to turn, there's going to be one of two things that are going to happen. A, I'm not going to turn very quickly at all, or B, I'm going to turn if I have comp stab off like I have now, but my ship is actually going to continue in the direction it was going in until the thrusters are able to act against the, vo the vector I was on and put me on the new velocity vector, the new trajectory, the new flight path that I'm on. So with that said, it's very important that you manage your throttle in combat. Look to the left of the center of the HUD. You see over there, 90%, 70%, 60%. You see me working the throttle at all times. It's important. It's a very important aspect of flight. Oop, just took a little bit of a hit. That's a perfect example of momentum and how you're not going to be able to react against it very quickly in a non-atmospheric environment. So when you're flying in combat and you're flying with a mouse and keyboard or a stick and throttle or a stick that has throttle on it or relying on keyboard and mouse or keyboard and joystick, which I'm being very redundant here, you can't forget the throttle. It's going to make it so you can maneuver much better in space. And a lot of you are saying, hey, I'm just very good at this game right now. Well, those of us that have the throttle and sticks have not had enough time to get really good at this game to combat against those that don't, that don't know how to use it. In the long run, someone that knows how to control throttle is going to be able to own somebody that doesn't almost every time. So what am I getting at? This tutorial is wholly for throttle control. And as we look, you're going to see my speed and my throttle percentage. Throttle on the right, speed on the left, going up and down at all times. Here we're going to try to slow down, and we couldn't, we crashed. So what's going to happen next? We're going to get back into another 300, and we're going to see how I maneuvered this spacecraft in the next few moments of this battle. So here we are back in it after I died. About 100% and boosting. Alright, I'm going towards him. And let's see, trying to get a little bit more closure on this guy. And you'll see, there I am. I've got him in my sights, trying to kill him. Alright, I'm going to turn. I drop my throttle down to 80, 70. I got him. Now I'm going to turn to see where these guys are going to come from. Right now, I'm not really 100% concerned because there's absolutely nobody there. But look at my throttle now, down in the 70s, 60s, 50s, 
turning. And I'm going to push it forward now to stop my move momentum towards that asteroid. I'm still not putting a lot of throttle on there. We're going to move towards this guy over here. We're at full throttle now. And now we're going to go turn. And we're pulling back on the throttle to give us a little bit of a turn there. And again... And always working that throttle to make it get us in the right direction. There we go. We pull back to make the turn a little bit tighter. And there we go. We got another one. Pull back on the throttle. Make the turn tighter. And then once we get on this guy. Oop. Let's see. Pulling back. Turning. And remember, these gimbaled these gimbaled mounted weapons work better if you fire just in front of the fighter that you're battling against. Alright, there we go. And now the big the big mystery here is <laughs> while you're doing this and you have your wingman so close, are you actually going to live? Oh, I should have had this guy so long ago, but my dead zones were reset with the last update of the X55 software, so I'll have to add them back in. So we're going for this last guy over here. Of course, we're full throttle, get past the space station, pull back a little bit, look at that. We turn faster, and now we're gonna push the throttle forward just a little bit. 41, 43, 50, 60s. Just trying to get this guy in our sights. Now we're at full throttle, trying to close the distance. And... Again, there we go, backing off on the throttle to make the turn tighter. And we got him. So, the main reason for doing this video is to teach you throttle control in combat. In space, where you don't have friction, where you don't have aerodynamic forces, you have to rely solely on the maneuvering jets and main thruster of your ship. With that said, that means that if you're going full throttle, pedal to the metal all the time, your turns are going to be a lot wider. You're going to pull a lot more G's if you disable G safe, and you're not gonna be very effective in a real dogfight. Manage your throttle, manage your turn rate with your throttle and you'll start to become successful in arena commander that's all i have for you today hopefully i am able to track down the bug i've been having where randomly different buttons get pushed in this episode i wasn't able to recreate what's been happening in the past i'm praying the latest software i installed has corrected the issue if it hasn't I'm surely going to have those errors, those bugs. Oh boy, I can't believe I lived for that. Those bugs over here documented so I could bring them to you and show you how to either identify them or get around them. That's all I got for you today. Um, just a couple of notes. There was a small patch today, which means that 12.5 is probably going to be released soon, which means we get our jukebox, we get a new game mode, we get that... Um, Ace Vanduul pilot, God knows what, he's sh what ship he's flying, and we have a couple of hidden secrets in the next patch, I am sure. I will see you all for the next Star Citizen AA, that'll be the next video I do. Thank you very much for watching, and remember, if you do want to help out with the production of my videos, go out to patreon.com forward slash Batgirl, and if you feel like pledging for a show please do and if not all my shows will always be free and that's all i got for you today y'all be safe out there and i'll talk to you soon